carbon bubble is uh, a bunch of assets pouring into, well, any bubble is assets pouring in unreasonably to, um, to a particular asset class. We had a housing bubble that I think we all remember in 2008 burst, and there's a concern that assets can be pouring into carbon uh, carbon rich assets and these assets could lose their value unexpectedly and suddenly and uh, investors will be at a loss. And why would they change suddenly? What is it about carbon that is risky or that, that what's what's driving the, the potential bubble if there is one? Well there is a huge body of science saying that we're having warming to the planet due to carbon being released into the atmosphere. And as a result of that, we could, for example, have regulation. Governments could come and say, well, we can no longer burn carbon-rich uh, assets as we have, and this regulation could change the value of companies that had previously been making a big profit from carbon. For example, we would no longer be able to uh, get the same benefit from burning oil, and then oil in the ground will not have the same value that it once did. I don't think a few years back that markets were attuned at all to the financial risks associated to climate. I think we've been hearing about climate uh, climate risk in terms of, of agriculture and so on, um, transportation problems for a very long time. But in terms of its impact on economic markets, I think that it's just really now coming to the consciousness of, of mainstream investors as well as um, more scientific types or more forward-looking types. And a phrase that you might have heard, stranded assets. This is assets that, say, oil in the ground that was once thought to have a certain value, maybe it'll have less of a value in the future, that hence the assets become stranded. This is now becoming more and more mainstream in financial conversations, and it's a concern on the mind of some investors.